I got into a college with a 1.47% acceptance rate. Here's how. My name is Adit Srinivasan. I'm a triple top voice on LinkedIn. I have over 900,000 content views online. And I'm also a second year student at Bits Pilani Goa campus. And this is the story of how I gamified my competitive exam preparation and how you can use the same framework to basically almost everything in your life. 80% of things in our life can be treated as a game. It doesn't matter if you're trying to climb the corporate ladder, trying to lose weight or even studying for an exam. You can use this gamification framework to most goals that you have and you can achieve them in lesser time and in a simpler and easier way. So this is the five step method and framework that I use to gamify my preparation and I'm currently using in my content creation journey and things like that. So number one is set specific goals. The amazing thing about games is that they tell you exactly what you have to do at each step. So it might start off with, okay, go talk to the old man in the village and then he asks you to go to another town and then you get to know what's happening there and then you kill the dragon and then you save a princess and stuff like that. So another amazing thing about this is that the game at the start does not ask you to kill a dragon. It says, okay, first talk to him, understand what's happening, get the context and then go kill the dragon. The whole, the big journey is broken down into smaller actionable steps. Okay, and setting specific goals is very important because it gives you clarity on what you have to do. So if you look at today, my today's to-do list, there's uh, make two LinkedIn carousels, write one newsletter post and study for the optimization quiz, which is today night, but I'm recording this. So having specific goals give you, gives you like a clear, you know, a thing to work on. For example, if I tick these things, I'm done for the day. I can do anything after that, play card mobile or anything. Number two is create a scoreboard. People act differently when they keep in score. If you've seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine, in the first season, Jake and Amy had this scoreboard of who will get more arrests. So this sort of gives them like a visual way to track their progress. And you also see other people. So for example, if you see that the other guy is one step ahead of you, he has one more than you, you will be like, okay, I have to do two today so that I'm ahead of him by one. And then this gives you like a very good, you know, a visual way of understanding where you stand. So when I write online or when I'm writing for my book, I have a word counter. So I'll have a, like a goal for a day saying touch 7,000 words or touch 8,000 words. And it tells me that I'm currently at 6.4 or 7.8 or whatever. And I'm like, okay, 200 more words to go. Where can I fit these 200 words in the book? And stuff like that. Number three is reward yourself. I have a box of uh, gym jams here and I use it to reward myself whenever I've done even a small thing. So for example, if I've written, if I've finished the things on my to-do list, I get a gym jam. If I've gone for a walk or done some sort of exercise, I get a gym jam. If I wake up on time uh, and I attend all classes for the day, one gym jam. So what this essentially does is, uh, if I'm studying for a quiz, I only get the result of the quiz after say four or five days. So the reward is like delayed, okay? And your brain loves instant rewards, which is why we have Instagram, YouTube, all of those things, instant dopamine. So I figured out a way to get the reward from the, you know, the delayed three, four days to the present. One gym jam is sort of a reward. You get that sweet center and also the sides and everything. So every time you complete even a small thing, a small task, you get a reward. Even in games, when you finish like one level or you reach one significant milestone, you're rewarded. Maybe you get XP points or new armor or skills or whatever. But reward yourself even when you do these small things along the way. That makes you hooked onto the game. Okay? Because you think, okay, if I finish one more level, I get one more reward. If I study more, I get one more gym jam. That's my mindset throughout the day, literally. The gym jam packet costs like 35, but the perceived value for me because of the things that I accomplished because of that gym jam is like 10 or 20 times that. Number four is teamwork. Some of the most popular games in the world are played with your friends like CSGO, Fortnite, Clash of Clans or whatever else, right? This is because when you play with your friends, you have like this sort of social competition and you also have this thing of, you know, I have to better him. But again, we're all a similar mindset. We all have this clan. We're all in it together and things like that. Especially in these, uh, um, you know, shooting games, FPS games, you have like a group of people who are against the bomb or like, or are putting the bomb or whatever in CSGO. What happens is you sort of hold each other accountable. You say, Ki, okay, this guy has to protect the bomb. I have the bomb, I'll go place it there and things like that. So you hold each other accountable. Now, even if you're studying, I'd say study in a group, then you can say, okay, you've studied the first chapter, I'll do the second chapter, then we'll teach each other. That way, both of you benefit you are studying only one by yourself and then you are learning. You are also teaching what you know, so find one technique. And teaming up is one of the best things you can do, whether be it studying, working out or anything else, literally. Number five is level up often. In games, after every few levels or like milestones, your character levels up. And because of that, you get more XP, 
you get coins you get armor whatever like i said in the reward yourself part this is this is sort of like a bigger version of that so when you when i reward myself with gym jams every now and then i also have a pace thing that's like my level up thing you can do the same in real life by you know buying better equipment maybe so i switched from phone recording to ipad recording for my youtube videos uh, i might buy a subscription for writing online you know i might hire an editor for my youtube videos and things like that so when you're leveling up your game you're also uh, you know sort of leveling up your outputs so that way if i buy say a better uh, monitor or a better keyboard so that i can type faster that will help because i write online a lot things like that you know any small upgrade towards your goal will help you get there faster and easier so your job is not just to get to the goal it's also to get there in like a nice way okay uh, you can't really do all nighters every week every day because that's not you know sustainable and like scalable so you need to figure out how to work in a systematic and sustainable way and gamification helps you do just that that's it for now i hope this video helped you and you can literally use this framework in any other way that you want any goal that you want to achieve you can do it with this add your own side things add your own thoughts opinions and stuff on it customize it this is all yours thank you for watching see you in the next video